Hello everybody. It's been a while since I made a video, but here we go. This is a project I've been working on for a little while. I've converted the back of my truck into a, a camping slash off-grid slash bug-out vehicle, whatever you want to call it. I have two solar panels on the roof. Uh, here you see I have the four batteries. These are four 35 amp hour AGM sealed batteries. And what you see on the side there is a Renogy DC to DC with MPPT controller. So what that does is it actually takes power from the solar panels and charges up those batteries. And if there's no sun, it can take power from the alternator from the vehicle and charge up the batteries. It will try the solar first, and if that doesn't work, it switches over. It's a pretty smart little unit. Uh, here it is up a little bit closer. And you can see uh, there's a little circuit breaker there that feeds a fuse panel. And that fuse panel feeds a couple different circuits in the truck that I'll show you more in detail as we move along. There's also a shunt there. And that is connected to a current meter in the back, which shows uh, the displays of how much battery I have left percentage-wise how much current is being drawn, how much current is going in, and uh, my voltage also. Pretty neat little setup. And here you see the heavy power wires going back to my 1200 watt inverter. So this gives me the capability of having 120 volt circuits, which you know, comes in handy when you're where I am a lot, where there's no electricity. Here's the first side piece installed. The second side piece is built in, made out of plywood and outdoor carpeting. Assembled it all as one piece so it just fits in. Left a little extra carpet right here on the top so that it fits the irregularity shape of the cap. Just pushes up against and kind of hides that, that area right there. Keeps stuff from falling behind there. No need to carpet that bottom half because there's a second piece that's going to slide in here. Here's my switches. There's a power switch there. You can toggle that off and on, and that will turn on a voltmeter, the USB plugs for your phones or tablets, and then also the cigarette lighter adapter. So you can plug any type of 12 volt accessory into that. And you can see where the batteries are mounted flush up in there. Here is the storage compartments. This is the larger of the of the few that I have. You can fit tents or chairs or pretty much whatever you want in there. And then I have a smaller cubby hole here and the inverter compartment. Here is the meter that I use to check my voltages. 13.74, that's 100% charged. Uh, there you go, you can see the 100%. Right now it's drawing 0 0.03, 0 0.02, and that's pretty much just that little light that that thing's drawing. So I have 140 amp hours of batteries, but if you cut that in half, that leaves you 70 usable amp hours. So I programmed this to 100% uh, be at 70 amp hours. As it gets down to the 0%, it'll drop down to 0 amp hours, but technically I'd still have another 70 amp hours in reserve. But you never really want to charge an AGM less than 50%. So rather than putting it at 140 amp hours, I just put it at 70. Then there's really no rhyme or reason for failure. I mean, you can put it at 140 amp hours if you want. Just make sure that when it gets down to 50% or so, you stop. So 13.74. It's a little confusing to explain. All right, next step is to put the one inch thick insulation down. On the bottom, it's R5. Just helps keep a little bit of that coal, brother, out of the bottom. So now the drawers and the bed are in next. See how it's starting to fit together. This side next. I'm not sure what I'm going to build here yet. 
I'll come up with something. We'll build some more storage compartments here. All right, so I got the passenger side completed. There's this little storage compartment up here that lifts open, and you can put stuff in there, put the, put the lid back on it, make a little shelf. There's a switch there for the USB, two USB, 3.0 quick chargers, and a cigarette lighter. On the other side, same setup. The solar charger you can see there, charging up the four 35 amp hour uh, batteries that are under that compartment over there. Right, right underneath that compartment. Got the tent packed in there. Inverter under here. Right here for quick cleanups. Got the little vacuum. And then on this side, I got a shovel and a machete and a uh, saw. Just quick access to the, uh, the Boreal 21. And the storage underneath that one for uh, fishing poles or whatever. Plenty of room, a few chairs. I got the two drawers underneath there, finished up. Well, redone anyways. I've had been doing this for about three years now, but decided to redo it all and make it a little nicer. I got the little flat piece right here that just folds up when I close the tailgate, helps keep the dust out. And then inside the drawers, the full length drawers, six and a half feet long. Camping stuff. First one's electronics. Flashlights, battery chargers, headlights, then uh, like the first aid section, first aid kit, toilet paper, bug spray, lotion, uh, sun, suntan, uh, sunblock, and a couple thermocells. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here yet, but right now I have a couple tarps and uh, just some dryer lint for fire starter. Here I got the the uh, camp stove and some extra propanes, napkins, and plasticware. A couple microfiber cloths for cleaning up. Got the cast iron pan, the pot, and uh, this is a rechargeable shower in here that you can use in a bucket. You gotta wash up, do whatever. And that is a little air compressor, 12 volt air compressor. So, this slides in. There's no rollers, there's no uh, nothing. It's just, it just slides on the wood and it slides pretty fairly easily. This one I haven't finished up yet, but got a big space here. And then in here I just have some different tie downs. And just some different bungees. A couple ratchet straps. And in here, keep some knives, a little saw, a couple tools. This is more like a tool compartment. So, there she is, pretty much all done. Ready to get out and do some backwoods, off grid camping with the ladder racks installed now for the kayak and the canoe. These solar panels up on the roof, two 100 watt Renogy solar panels. Here, I'll get up inside. So you can see the switches, the USB and the cigarette lighter. All I do is turn this on. And then that powers everything up on this side. The same thing on that side. Powers those up. Here we have this uh, compartment we can pull out. So there's a little storage room down there for stuff. And under this one, 
the four 35 amp hour batteries. Renogy charger. We got a flash on the red saying that we are charged up and it's just trickle charging at this point. That's the solar, solar panel or alternator. It'll first try to charge off the sun. If it doesn't get any sunlight, then it'll switch and it'll charge off the alternator if the vehicle's running. I got a uh, 70 amp breaker feeding this little fuse panel, feeding the few multiple circuits I have in here. And then up on top, up there is just a ground bar with all ground wires on it. Just the black wires. That's about it for now. Happy to finally finish this, but working on a long time. Actually, it's been years. It was only half finished. And uh, now I got it completely finished. Thank God. I'll leave you now with a few still shots. Please click that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. I will answer as many of them as I can. Thanks for watching.